Sean, let's just start with, you know, congrats on first team selection. What does an honor like that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, yeah, just all the hard work for all four years. And it's not just me. It's, it's the teamwork as well. And I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have got that without, without us being good as a team and being ranked uh, as high as we are now. So, I mean, as much thanks I give to myself, I give it to my teammates as well. Kind of a disappointing loss on Saturday. How easy is it for you and your teammates to just shake that off and, you know, refocus with, you know, the most important part of the season coming up? Uh, yeah, that loss. I mean, of course, we would have won that game. But, uh, I mean, as bad as it sounds, it really didn't mean anything for us to lose that game. But, of course, we would have won that to uh, give us momentum into the Big West tournament. But now it's 0-0 uh, zero, zero now, and it's an elimination, uh, elimination tournament. So, I mean, one game lost, we're done. So we have to come in really focused and uh, get this win over Riverside. You know, you're a senior. Obviously, you've been in the tournament before. Uh, I mean, have you tried to, I don't know, give some advice to the younger guys or kind of take an extra leadership role headed into – you know, this very important week? Well, like Coach always says, uh, every possession counts. I mean, we can't come into the game and just think like in the first the first half, just like stays with the ball, per se. So, I mean, we just have to be very conscious with the ball, and every decision is important. So, I mean, every, every possession counts. So we just have to go out there and try our best and just, you know, try to, try to take care of the ball. You guys open up against Riverside, beat them twice this season. Yeah. Kind of talk about what you guys are focusing on this week to make sure, you know, you guys win a third straight against them. Uh, well, of course, we're going to focus on our defensive aspect of the game. But uh, I think this week we're also going to focus more on our offensive and uh, scoring the ball as well. Uh, me and Dave, uh, as you see, it takes the majority of the shots. So, you know, we're just probably going to try to as well as get our shots, but incorporate everybody else so we can play more as a team and get everybody shots because, you know, they're going to focus on me and Dave. So, you know, just play more of a rounded team game and keep keep our defensive as an A-plus defense. Hey, Sean, congrats on, on the first team selection. Um, you said the shot, shots aren't dropping for you here lately in the last three games. Yeah. I, any frustration setting in for you because uh, it, it seems like they've been clapping down hard on you and it's uh, – you're just in one of those streaks right now? Uh, not at all. I mean, I'm not worried about it. Uh, just you got to get in the gym, practice, and just get it falling again. Uh, like I said, it's a new season, so those last few games really doesn't matter at all. Uh, just come out and just make those shots. It counts now. Do you feel like the defense has been picking up against you? I know you haven't been able to get to the rim um, as much as you like or at all, at all the last few games. Yeah. Uh, they've been really, you know, tough on you. So, again, is it is just something you're going to have to adjust to here? Uh, yeah, it's definitely something I'm going to have to adjust with. Uh, you know, just finding the other open man, uh, the man who comes to double team me. Uh, I mean, my teammate's going to be open. And finding that, uh, getting the pass to the open man, as well as finding other ways uh, to score the ball. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's other ways for me to score the ball besides, you know, just getting it in my sweet spot. So, uh, there's ways there's ways around the double team. So, I, I think it will be uh, – it will be shown in the Riverside game. In terms of the, the, the team right now, um, you know, you guys are number two, but you've lost three of your last four games. So I, those were all close games, we know. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't seem like the team's playing the best basketball of the season right now heading into the tournament. Any, any concerns there? Uh, not at all. I mean, I'm glad we're losing games now instead of the tournament. So, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of bad losing those games. But, you know, right now it counts. And we're not, we, we don't lose too many games in a row. So we're just going to come out and uh, play our best ball. Being the only senior on the team, um, the sense of urgency, I, I guess, would have to be there at all, all time high. This is it for you. I mean, yeah. How hungry are you personally? Because this is it, your last shot at going yeah. to the big dance. Uh, personally, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm eager to get this uh, win and get this uh, NCAA bid uh, for me and the team. And uh, I'm sure we all want to be the first uh, team in Cowboy history to make it to the NCAA tournament. So, I mean, like Coach always says, one game at a time, though. So we can't just look forward, look over Riverside like that. But, of course, in the back of our minds, it's like, okay, this is our chance this year to uh, make and go all the way. Uh, you know, that we're even talking about you guys going maybe to the big dance. I mean, what does that, that mean? Because, you know, you were here through some good times and bad. A couple of years ago, mm -hmm. this was a last-place team, and you didn't even make the conference tournament. So. Yeah that we're even talking about this, a second place finish. I mean, talk about the growth of this team the last couple of years since uh, Coach Calero has come aboard. Uh, we, we've grown uh, grown a lot since Coach came in, and uh, he really changed the program around, and we've grown as a team on and off the court. 
just our whole defensive scheme and offensive scheme. It's just it's a complete change for me. I mean, I've been through it all, so uh, it just feels good to be, you know, have a winning streak and just winning. It feels good. And um, going into this tournament, I feel like we have a real good chance of winning. And even when we go to the dance, I mean, I, I think we have a good chance of uh, getting an upset as well. I mean, we play, he made sure we play uh, top ranked teams in the preseason, and we didn't do too bad. So, you know, I think that uh, if we do make it that far, the team that uh, we play is going to have a little tough game on our hands. I want to ask you about Coach Calero. I know he's, he's right here, so you can say some nice words about him. He didn't win the Conference Coach of the Year. Uh, Dan Monson won that. Mm -hmm. With all due respect to Coach Monson, I think Coach Calero, a lot of people would like to have seen him win that award. Do you think he should have won that award, and, and, and what has he brought to this team in his two years here? Uh, of course, I'm going to say I wish he would have won that. <laughs> and, yeah, he's a, he's, a, <laughs> he's a very good coach. I mean, but uh, like he always says, there's, uh, every coach in the Big West is a good coach, and you know, every coach would like that uh, that honor. But uh, me personally, yeah, I would have gave it gave it to Coach Calero uh, in the preseason. They didn't pick us too well at all, and he he did a good job of coming in and changing Cal Poly's whole program around. And uh, this, that's not that wasn't an easy thing to do. I mean, we had to make we made a lot of changes, and uh, he just got us on the right track and brought winning back to Cal Poly basketball. And lastly, just the, the, the back to the tournament. I mean, how nice will it be? That they're moving into the Honda Center. Uh, you know. Semifinals are going to be an ESPNU. It seems like it's a little bit more, a little more publicity this year for the Big West yeah. tournament. Uh, I mean, how nice is it? It seems like the, the, there's a lot more media interest, and uh, it seems like there's more national spotlight on this tournament this year. Yes, yeah, it feels good to be in that spotlight. Uh, yes, yeah, the new, the, the new arena. Uh, Coach told us uh, when he went down there in the preseason to go check it out. He said it's a very nice arena, and uh, it's just it's a new sight. I mean, just to get out of Anaheim and go into some uh, another place is just new for everybody. Nobody has any upper advantage on being, going to the tournament more time playing in the gym more. So, I mean, everything is new to everybody. Solid, neutral court. So, I mean, it's going to be fun and interesting.